Or they're going to keep doing that and they're going to keep milking the middle class. And the middle class just keeps shrinking and shrinking. So we are winning this for practical reasons, but we still have a long way to go. And it's education, it's learning to have and get people to have confidence that free society is not only a better society, it's more peaceful and there's more prosperity. And uh, that is what people have to vote for, even if there's a point of resistance. I said I'm against the use of violence to counteract the government, but I'm not opposed to people just going on strike and saying, look, I've had enough of this. I'm not going to participate. But that's, that's rough, I too, agree. because you have to suffer the consequence of this. And that, that is peaceful resistance. And I'm not even sure where, where I would come down on that under certain circumstances. But that's ultimately the way laws get changed is a resistant movement supported by the people. And our Congress, on occasion, will respond when they know there's enough Americans who said enough is enough. Of course, that's what the battle is right now in Washington, is there's an outcry from the people about Washington. Still, they don't know how to handle it, and they won't change their tune. And it's sure. led by Republican and Democratic leaders, and yet there's a core of people now in Washington that said enough is enough. I totally agree with you, and we're reaching that historic crossroads right now where the social engineers admit they're losing the hearts and minds. They're trying to accelerate their program, and they're looking for that line in the sand to push us so hard, we start getting violent. Uh, I agree, violence is not the answer, offensively. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for prison. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Hello, I'm Alex Jones, host of InfoWars Nightly News, and I'm also a documentary filmmaker. And I've been doing a lot of research concerning preparedness because my listeners have been asking me my opinion on it because it's one of the you know, hottest phenomenons uh, in society right now. And that's for good reason. There is a, a social conscience or social instinct that all is not well in the state of the United States or the world. We see incredible degeneration in our economy thanks to the globalist. Uh, we see uh, crime increasing, our prisons filled. We have 90% of the population living in uh, urban areas and are almost completely unself-sufficient. 
If we have a Great Depression like they had back in the 1920s and 30s, it is going to be absolutely devastating. And so millions of people a month are buying guns at record levels. They're, they're prepping, they're buying food, they're planting gardens. All of that is great. But an area I don't really hear discussed, or if I do, it's done in a very uh, you know, thin surface way, is location. Now, I've known enough to move outside Austin, Texas, um, where I broadcast my radio show. But I understand that I still live just a few miles from a major thoroughfare. And if society uh, has any type of collapse or major disruption, every major city in this country will basically look like New Orleans in a very, very short period of time. And so that's why I personally am getting prepared with solar and with uh, well water and rainwater collection and firearms. But I'm also getting prepared politically out there trying to wake up others show that as these hard times unfortunately get worse because the globalists have engineered it that way, that more people are awake and understand what's happening. Because the social engineers want us dependent on them. They admit that that's their plan. Now, the question is, who's going to make it to that finish line before this accelerated collapse actually takes place and these larger wars that they want to start? Now, in the next hour, I want to break down with one of the foremost experts out there, Joel Skousen. He's written the book, Strategic Relocation. We'll put that up on screen, North American Guide to Safe Places, third edition. But I wanted to have a visual guide uh, to the book with the author walking us through this. Now, Joel, of course, uh, his uh, famous uncle wrote The Naked Communist, exposing that powerful elites were funding communism. Joel himself is an author, and he is the editor of the acclaimed World Affairs Brief. Uh, that uh, breaks down things on a daily and weekly basis. He was also a Marine Corps uh, fighter pilot who made uh, carrier landings at night. We were talking about that before we started taping here today. Maybe at the end, he'll talk a bit about that, you know, staring death in the eye, uh, as we all do in one way or another. And as we talk about trying to get prepared and ready for what's already hitting us. You see, people now realize the new world order globalism is real. And about 2% of the population is now trying to prep. Most experts I talk to say that if three to four to 5% start to prep, that's gonna drive up prices on everything and is gonna put prepping uh, and preparation out of reach of a lot of people. So it's important now to start moving in that direction. And hopefully we can reverse the tide of tyranny and this won't be needed. But if we don't reverse it, uh, it's obviously gonna be needed. So it's insurance that is also a way of life and self-sufficiency that all of our ancestors and every culture did just out of hand. I mean, whose grandparents out there didn't have storable food and things like that and uh, kept some money in the mattress? And we called them old fogies. Well, that common sense is coming back into style. So with us is Joel Skousen uh, to walk us through his book in a visual format. And this truly is the secrets of survival from one of the foremost experts. He also as is one of the foremost experts in uh, safe homes and consults all over the country and the world. Joel, great to have you here with us. Good to be with you, Alex. Uh, you've got the floor. Break down what you're going to go over here uh, today. You know, I got this background on strategic relocation. My original uh, expertise was in high security architecture. I was one of the pioneers in the field, wrote the book, The Secure Home. It's been in print now for 30 years. And it's the Bible of that, uh, that genre of building. But as I did so and designed and worked with people to help them build homes all over the country and even in some in, in uh, Central America, I unknowingly became a judge of what was a safe location and wasn't a, what wasn't a safe location. And so about two years before Y2K hit, I wrote the book Strategic Relocation, the first edition. Uh, it's been a long gestation since there. The book has been selling steadily since 1998. But since this new third edition came out, it has all new color maps of every state in the Union, provinces of Canada, uh, all of the regional threats, uh, charts galore. It's the analysis in this book, as well as the graphics that leads people through a complete understanding of every state, helps them walk through the decision process. Because frankly, this is not easy. It's not easy because very few people can go and leave their jobs and go out into rural areas where there's safety. In other words, security financially is the antithesis of security in terms of location. 
because the safest locations are where there's very few people, very rural, and that's the opposite of what you need to have jobs. But what happened in, in, in Y2K, I was one of the advisors to Gary North when he was really pushing Y2K, and the world owes a great debt of gratitude to Gary for warning about Y2K. In fact, the establishment laughs at him now, but they took his warning, they fixed most of the problems, and didn't give him credit for the fact that he goaded them into it. But there were a lot of people in Y2K that said the end of the world is coming, I'm bailing out of society, going out to rural, they bought a lot of survival equipment, generators, food storage, et cetera. And when it didn't happen, it actually did happen, there was about five major events that the media covered up. But really the, the, the infrastructure stayed together. And about a year later, I started to get calls from people saying, uh, Joel, I hear you do consulting and strategic relocation. I'm out here in Podunksville and I've run out of money. Self-sufficiency turned out to be a lot more expensive than I thought. Uh, what do I do? And I said, I hate to say this, but you've got to go back into society. You've got to reestablish your financial lifeline. And then you've got to do this all over again properly, carefully, using contingency planning rather than just bailing out. Now, there are some people who can live anywhere, who can live off of a computer, and who can uh, um, go anywhere they want, live in a rural community, but even them, and I was one of those that did that myself. I took an airplane and I flew all around the country and I picked out the most idyllic spot in Oregon, the Hood River Valley, moved my whole family there, and then it came time, we had homeschooled them all, it came time to college and I realized there's no way to give these guys a college education in, in Ruralsville. And I actually had to move the family back to another safe location that was near a metropolitan area so that I could provide education. So you see, even for a survival expert like myself, it isn't a clear-cut, easy choice. You have compromises that every location has. But the first process I like to take people through, I'd like to do in this interview, is how to engage in strategic thinking. Most people, and I can't blame them, we're victims of the world that we live in, but we live in a world of illusions. Now, those illusions of prosperity have somewhat broken since 2008. But in fact, people still think that things are pretty good. Restaurants are full, the movie houses are full, people are still spending money. We have kind of a segmented, selective recession, selective depression. There are people who are out of work, who are really hurting, who can't raise their money or their income with, uh, to match inflation. And there's those people that are on the receiving end of inflation, uh, two or three steps down from the government putting money out. And that was an excerpt from Strategic Relocation. And you know that video that you just saw, you can also get at the InfoWars shop. You can get it along with the book, the book and the DVD together, the combo available right there at the InfoWars shop. Also, go to YouTube. You can check it out there as well as well as the other great videos, the, all the side channels, Paul Joseph Watson's, David Knight's, Leanne's, everybody else is there as well. And last but certainly not least, prisonplanet.tv, where you can get yourself a free trial. You can see the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there at prisonplanet.tv. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.